Okay guys, so it's a well-known fact that WordPress powers 40% of the internet, but it also comes with a long learning curve. Now, I've found a solution that lets you build a website the easy way without sacrificing any of the advanced features most web owners need. Does that sound good to you? Okay, so let me show you how Pixpa can change the game for you. Very good, so welcome to Pixpa.com, the go-to website builder for top creatives. So who is this for exactly? Well, it's made for creatives, photographers, maybe artists, illustrators, graphic designers, UI, UX designers, etc, etc. So if you are one of the top creatives, well, this could be the right solution for you. Now, just to mention, they've been on the market for over 10 years, as you can see here. And creatives have trusted Pixpass Portfolio Website Builder to power their online presence. So let's keep scrolling down a little bit. We have a very nice testimonial here. So here we have Paul, a photographer based in the US. He says that having used Squarespace, Wix, Adobe Portfolio and WordPress, well, Pixpass Portfolio Website Builder is blowing him away. So it hits the perfect balance between ease of use and advanced functions. So with Pixpy, you can design beautiful websites very easily. As you can see, 180 plus beautiful responsive templates, ready-made templates that you can use to build your website and save a lot of time. And also you can start selling online. So one of the things that they do is not just e-commerce. As a creative, you can also sell images. As you can see right here, this is a built-in feature that might be of interest to you. So if you are maybe a photographer or something like this, maybe you want to sell your pictures online, well, you can monetize that immediately. Very good. So now let's address the price together. So as you can see, it's actually really, really affordable, starting at only 337 632 for the creator package, 849 for the professional one, and the advanced one is only 1054. So as you can see, it's really affordable indeed. Now, obviously, the more you pay, the more features you'll have access to. So depending on what you need, obviously, feel free to look through this list here. As always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. So for this test, we're going to start for free. As you can see, you can start for free immediately and follow along with me during this video. So let's start together. Very good, and you can try Pixpa for free for 15 days. And what I really like with them is that they don't require any credit card either. So this is a very nice touch, to be honest, you know. So I'm already registered with them. So what I'm going to do now is to log in. And once you've registered with them, you can follow a few steps to help you set things up. Or you can skip this all together and start from blank. So if you follow these steps, well, first, you're going to select your template, your colors and fonts which obviously is going to save you a lot of time. And now we need to select our template. So let's pretend we are a photographer and we specialize mostly in wedding pictures, okay? So what you can do is basically click on photography here and we'll only show you the templates related to photography. So let's scroll down the page and find something that could be suitable for us. So as you can see, they all look very, very professional indeed. And one of those caught my mind. So I have this one here. So this is clearly related to weddings. But the one that caught uh, my attention here is this one, Prism. I think this one looks absolutely outstanding. Now, if you're not too sure, you can hover on top, click View Templates, and you will have a preview of the actual website. Now, to be honest, that looks absolutely amazing. Very, very professional indeed. So if you were a photographer specializing in wedding picture, this would definitely be the ideal website. As you can see, that looks absolutely stunning and you will definitely get a lot of sales from this. So let's go ahead with this one, okay? So we go back here, we select this one and all you have to do is to click Start with Prism and now we need to select our color palette. So as you can see, this is the default one, the base colors, which look very professional already, to be honest, you know. We can select among all these different options here. So let's try maybe with the shade of blue here, see what it looks like. If you click on this, you have a quick preview here. So there's not much changes, to be honest. You know, it looks very similar. So let's go a bit more wild and more bold. Let's try maybe with the green and white. So as you can see, totally different feel now, you know, all together. So we go from dark mode to bright mode, obviously. So let's try something else, maybe tropical. Very good. That's not bad either, guys. Look at this. But again, you give a different vibe, a different feel. Obviously, colors are very important indeed. So I think this one is not too bad either. So let's carry on with this one perhaps, okay? So let's continue. So next we have to select our font set because obviously the font will set a different mood as well. 
So by default is this one here. It's forum, which I think is very suited for this type of business, but you can select or something else. Obviously, you know, I uh, can try Oswald maybe. Let's try this one, see what it looks like. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, maybe Gilda display. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay, let's go with this one, okay? But obviously, as you can see, you can select among a plethora of different fonts, but we're going to go ahead with this one, okay? So now we can click finish. Very good. So as you can see, we have fireworks. So this is set up now. And now we can have a quick look at our website. So view site, click on this. It will open up in a new tab. And now we have a quick overview of what our website looks like. So let me zoom in. And I think that looks absolutely amazing. I think that combination of colors is very rich and very refined. And that font that we selected works very well with it as well. So now let me show you how you can customize everything here to make it your own, okay? So let's go back to our dashboard and to edit the content of your website, all you have to do is to click on website here and you will have access to all the different pages. So this is the preview here in the middle of our page and right here, these are the different pages. So you have the homepage, borders, portfolio, services, contact and the gallery as well. So if you want to edit any of those pages, all you have to do is simply click on it, okay? So let's click on home. Excellent. And now you can edit the content of your homepage. So if you hover on top of this one, as you can see, this one is an image list. Scroll down, this one is a marquee. If you scroll down, this is an image list, etc., etc. So basically what I really like about Pixpa is that they work with different sections. So you add a section on top of another section and then a different section and so on and so on. And it's very easy to manage and customize. So if you wanted to customize your hero section here, all you have to do is click on this button here. So as you can see, this is an image list. Okay, click on that. Very good. And now as you can see, everything is broken down in the simplest manner possible for you to manage your website. So here you have all the different items that you want to add here. So as you can see, you have three different items. You have two pictures and also a little bit of text. So heading and subheading. So if you wanted to customize this section here, all you have to do is click on this. And there you have it. This is where you can change your title, subtitle, and you can even add a description if you wanted to, which will be displayed just underneath. So let's go back to the top. If you wanted to customize your image now, simply click on the image item. And then from here, you can simply delete this one and upload your own image. So this is how easy it is to customize. Now there's a few more features, obviously, and also you can change the layout. So as you can see at the moment, we have three different columns here. But maybe you prefer something else. Maybe you prefer this one here with the title and the button underneath. Maybe lined up like this on top of each other. Maybe uh, staggered like this as well, you know. So that's really up to you. Feel free to select any of those templates and design that homepage exactly the way you want. Obviously, this wouldn't work if you couldn't style everything. So obviously, if you go to the styling feature here, and from here, you can stylize everything from this section. So as you can see, you can set the amount of columns. So by default, we have three at the minute. But you can select four, five, or maybe less, maybe just two or just one, okay? You can add spacing in between, uh, spacing in between rows, uh, how you want to align this horizontally and vertically, and also, obviously, mobile display. So on a mobile, you're not going to display three columns in a row, obviously. You might display just one, and it will display on top of each other. Obviously, you can configure everything related to your text or your font, uh, the spacing, your headline, your images, how does it behave on image hover, your borders, your cards, buttons and links, etc, etc. So as you can see, it's a very comprehensive solution that will allow you to customize everything exactly the way you want. Once you're happy enough, all you have to do is click save and that's basically it. Your section now is fully customized based on your own requirements. And then you can move on to the next section, okay? So as you can see, this one is called Marquee. So edit this. And from here, you can highlight all the different areas of business that you look after. So this is just an example, obviously. You know? Now, if you wanted to add a different section all together in between, all you have to do is basically hover on top of the section where you want to add it. Click on it. So add section. Okay, so let's add it in between those two. Add section. And now you can select among all these different options here. As you can see, you have cover, you have list, headline, banners, gallery, images, text. So let's have a look at headline here. What do we have? Well, bold text like this, maybe with an image and all that. You have banners as well. You have uh, picture galleries, images, text. Or you want to add maybe a contact form, payment and donations, embedded media. So if you want to insert a YouTube video, maybe, or a Vimeo video, Maybe you want to uh, show your location, where you're based, uh, insert an FAQ perhaps, or insert testimonials, etc. Okay, so this is how easily you can insert something into your page. So in our case here, let's go maybe with something like an, an about us or something like this. Okay, 
So this would be, I suppose, maybe uh, a banner, perhaps, okay? So we could have this and a bit of text next to it, or maybe a headline, okay? So this could be a picture of our premises, and then we could have about us, and then a bit of explanation and a bit of background story about ourselves, okay? So if you want to insert this, add this section, there you go. So it's going to add it for us. And as you can see, it will follow the exact same template, the exact same layout and color palette that we set up initially. And again, to edit your section, all you have to do is click on this, edit. And now you can customize all the content here. So as you can see, I've explored new places. So instead of this, we could have maybe about us. And then here, uh, passionate about photography or something like this, okay? And then you can type the about us section right here, all about yourself. Now, obviously, we have a button here. Maybe we don't need it, so we can get rid of this. Remove that, okay? Delete. And let's save this and see what it looks like. And there you have it. This is how easy you can customize each and every section and how easy you can add sections as well. And obviously, you would do the same with all the different sections here on your homepage. So, like I said, I really like the fact that they're using uh, sections here and not blocks or drag and drop. I think this makes it very easy for anyone to work things out and design things exactly the way you want. But immediately from the start, as you can see, that looks really, really professional. Now, this is how you can create a beautiful homepage very easily using Pixpa. And then you would do the same, obviously, with the other pages. Edit the About Us page, your portfolio page, services, contact, etc., etc. Okay. And then for the portfolio, as you can see, there's a small arrow. So this is basically our menu and this is sub menu. So if you go here in the preview, that's exactly where it is. If you have on top, you go to wedding or engagement because this is broken down in two different pages. So this is where you're going to add them. Okay. So this is basically how this works. So let's go back to our dashboard here. Okay, so now let me show you another very handy feature when it comes to photography. So as you can see, we have client galleries. So click on this and let me show you how amazing this section is. So basically, let's say you are a wedding photographer. So you went to the wedding, you took all the pictures, and then you want your newlyweds to have access to their pictures. So you can share this with them directly. So create a new album, share that with them, and then you can go through all the pictures and prove them as well. Now, on top of this, you can sell those images as well and even deliver them. So right here by the side, as you can see, you can set your price list, specific discount, charge shipping cost as well. If you want to print them in-house and maybe ship them to your customers, you can add taxes and set your preferences. So all together, as you can see, this is a very handy feature, especially for photographers or creative people selling images. So this is a very handy feature again. So let's go back to our dashboard here. And now let me show you the most impressive part is that you can provide your customers with their own gallery app straight on their mobile phone. As you can see right here, a gallery app, click on this and let me show you a few examples. Okay, so we can see this in action. Let me click on the link. So basically, what is gallery apps exactly? It's personalized mobile photo album. And you're going to delight your clients with your own custom photo gallery app. As you can see, you're going to deliver more value and elevate your brand and get more referrals. So let me give you a few examples and you're going to be blown away. I guarantee you, as you can see, you can create different types of gallery apps or client gallery spotlight page, public client album, public client album with email registration, with password or password and email registration. So let's access this one here because this is a public client album. So let's click on this and let me show you how this works. So once you get here, obviously you're going to have the page itself. So this is the wedding. You have the pre-wedding, maybe the engagement, and you have your different photo galleries that you can share with your clients. So click on this. And now they have access to an internal page. As you can see, you have a beautiful video, Sam and Gabby, we are getting married. And here are all the pictures. And again, as you can see, they can either like it, download it, or purchase it. So again, as you can see, this is a very nice way for you to monetize your website and your work. Now with Pixpy, you can also sell physical products or digital products, whatever you want really, as a store, as an e-commerce website. All you have to do for this is go to the store section here. And then from here, you can start uploading your products. So again, you have a multitude of different choices. You can sell physical products, services, digital files, or sell images like we just discussed earlier on. And all you have to do basically is to create your product, configure the store settings, and that's basically it. So it's very self-explanatory, very intuitive indeed. And then once you have your catalog in place, you can set your inventory, your discount, shipping, and taxes. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, we're not going to linger too long on this. This is basically an e-commerce platform, okay? 
So let's go back to our dashboard again. Now let me show you one more method that you can use to monetize your website. So I have payments and donations. So let me click on this. So this is not to set up your payment method, but it's to create a payment form. As you can see, payment form. So this could be used for requesting payment from a customer, or you could create this maybe for a donation form or something similar. And this can be linked directly to your Stripe or PayPal account. So just to give you an example here, what it could look like, if you run a charity, for instance, you could have a, a, a form like this one, make a difference, enter your name, last name, email address, and then you can select the amount, maybe $10, $20, $30, or set your own amount, and then donate. And this will go straight to your PayPal and Stripe account in the form of a donation, which will be immediately recorded that way. And then finally, we have marketing and SEO. So obviously, you want your website to be found, so you can optimize everything for SEO purposes. So you have the SEO manager. You also have marketing pop-up, announcement bars, and all these marketing tricks that you can use as well to generate more income, generate more traction on your website. So let's have a quick look at the SEO manager. So if I click on this, as you can see, this is where you can set everything related to SEO. So you have the SEO manager and the SEO for pages, and this is where you're gonna set everything up. So as you can see, you can use different variables, insert them, you have all different tools right here, so mobile friendly, optimizing your images, fast loading website, etc. etc. Okay, so SEO for pages is very similar, except it's on a case to case basis. On your home page, maybe you want to optimize this for SEO with description, etc. This is where you can take care of this. Now we have the marketing pop ups as well, which is super handy. So in this case, you can make an announcement, so it will pop up and show maybe a specific discount or a special offer, maybe Black Friday sale or something like this, you know. And then you can also have collect emails. So basically, here it's a built in solution all in one. You can build your mailing list directly from within Pixpa. So that means you don't have to spend money on a third party email marketing solution, it's all built in right from here. And then a few more tools here as well, announcement bar, mobile action bar, email list, and WhatsApp widget. So these can be used as well, again, to gain more traction. And obviously to top everything up, you also have a blog as part of your website, which you can create different articles, stories, and throw out all your ideas there, which will also increase your SEO results. Now, as you can see, they receive quite a few awards, obviously, you know, because this is such a nice solution, well looked after for over 10 years now. Now, there's something else I'd like to mention. If you go to resources, there's something called Pixar Prime. And I think that's very important, especially for creative agencies and freelancers out there. So basically, if you subscribe to Pixar Prime, where well, you can basically build stunning websites for your clients using a platform engineered for growth and efficiency. And finally, if you have any questions, you can always go to the help center, look for any solutions yourself. But don't worry, they have a 24-7 customer support. So whatever question you have at any given time, wherever you're based in the world, you're guaranteed to get an answer immediately. And there you have it, guys. Pixpa is actually a very nice solution that can help you build website the easy way and also at a quite affordable rate as well. Now, as always, if you'd like to give it a go, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.